ここで、今。How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, the one and only Chaos Gamer, and we're back with another one. And today, I'm gonna do a breakdown video of all three characters and all three support items that just dropped for my Hero Academia Ultra Impact, being the UR Deku and the UR Azuya that came out for the banner, and the free All Might that dropped um um on the event um Hero Class 1A special event. With the SR support item and then the UR support item that came out with the banner. So, without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's build this shit right up and let's get right into it. So, the first one being UR Deku, the Air Force or Shoot Style. He did come out on the game. Sorry that it's a little bit blurry. I tried my hardest to make it as high quality as I can. But, you know, with circumstances, I tried. So, um, I like the, 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 um, the loadout that I did. Let me know in the comments if you do. Besides the blurriness, I will try to fix that in the next time. So, plus Ultra Delaware Smash Air Force. It puts 700% damage to one enemy. And this is enemy crit rate by 35% for three turns. Um, action skill Delaware Smash um, condition four turns. It puts 350% damage to one enemy. It reduces enemy speed by 30% three turns. That's actually kind of cool. Action skill Detroit Smash um, condition five turns. Inflicts 350% of damage to one enemy during an additional 50% if enemy has a speed debuff. And auto skills unknown vitality when um, HP is 50% or more, skills deal an additional 50% damage. When HP is 50% or less, gain invasion for 3 attacks, plus 40%, once only, and the auto skill screens to hang. Um, so this guy is looking like he does a lot of fucking damage, and I have seen that if you do put him with Bakugo, they will nuke events like in a heartbeat. So, if he's worth the summon, I will say most likely yes, he is worth the summon, that like he's doing all this shit. This is him at his max potential, awakened and all of that, so you should, but you know, be at the risk that you know, you might not get him, um, so if you're summoning, summon at your own risk of not getting him. So, I like this Midoriya, I might summon for him as well. Um, I would like to do a light go, but like I said, it's not needed for me to like any videos, so, you know. Let me just know in the comments if you want me to summon or not, like, in your own opinion, and then later on I will summon or not, depending on, um, the, the feedback from this video. So next, let's move on to SR All Might. Um, he also is blue, he's range, he's an SR, he's a free one for this event. In my last video, I did, if you've seen it, at the end, I did talk myself, but like, not getting um, I don't know if I can get All Might or not, so now it's a big dilemma. Um, but let's go over him. So, plus Ultra Texas Smash. It takes 500% damage to one enemy, doing additional 40% damage if enemy has a crit, um, a crit rate debuff. So, we already see that the Midoriya, um, where is it? Does he have... He reduces the enemy's crit rate, so these two are meant to work together with their first skills. And um, Midoriya's um, first skill as well. The action skill is um, Oklahoma Smash. The um, condition is five turns. Inflict 250% damage to one enemy. Do an additional 40% damage if the enemy has a speed debuff. Um, action skill Carolina Smash. The condition is four turns. Inflict 250% damage to one enemy. Do an additional 40% damage if enemy has an attack debuff. Um, his auto skill is remaining embers. Minus 3% to attack and speed every turn up to 30%. So basically, this All Might also helps himself, if it makes sense, because we see that he's minusing speed, so with his second skill and this auto skill, it goes together because he does get 40% damage per speed, deep, not, not per, he gets a 40% damage boost if the enemy has a speed debuff, so he is helping himself by doing that. So with the final skill, which is American Appearance, when HP is 50% or less, fills on uh, plus Ultra Gauge, by 40% once only. That is very clutch if you're struggling in a mode and you're about to kill the boss. That is a good thing to have, but you know, you could die, so be careful with this if you're trying to attempt something like this with this All Might. But overall, I see that him and Midoriya work well together because of what they apply for each other. And the All Might can handle himself by getting his own skills up with the third um, action I mean, sorry, the second action skill that he has and the, um, the first auto skill that he has. 
So with the SR Azia, now this is for me to see personally, just in case I do pull her, if she's good or not. So plus ultra floppy swing plus ultra inflicts 500% damage to one enemy, reduces enemy defense by 15%, action skill protective cover, condition is 6 tens, damn that is long to wait for that. Camouflage is for 3 turns, 25% um, crit rate, and 3 turns to self. It's only for her. So, action skill Froppy Kick, inflicts 250% damage to one enemy, reduces enemy crit rate by 25% for 3 turns. So, like, I um, I guess all three of these guys could be a team together if you think about it, because they are helping each other out with their own special um, skills and how they lower um, crit rate or boost crit rate, and then it just applies to their skills. So now with the auto skill reliable friends, it fills, fills all allies plus ultra gates by 20% at the start of battle. And then her underwater talent fills all and plus ultra gates by 30% at the start of battle. Guys, I think she's a very good support type. If I'm not gonna lie, she is good. For the auto skills, she is very good because you're boosting your plus ultra gates. And if you're farming for something literally for free, she is giving you a 50% um plus ultra game boost so if you have her she's great for autoing like oh my god like 50 percent you're getting it basically every three turns or every two turns you're gonna get a plus ultra gauge filled so um if you were debating about whether or not she's good or not if you have pulled her through summoning she is good for autoing most likely for having um this skill, these both skills. Now this is them maxed out, and I don't know if you get these skills right away or not, so um, if I do manage to summon on that, I will let y'all know whether I do get the proc of 50% or not. So let's see with the support items now what they have in store for us. So with the first one being um, a UR1 longing for battle, this one has all my inbox go. At the start of the battle, there's on plus ultra gauge by 50%. If your team has a full ally skill, Deals an additional 30% damage self. So that means the person that has this support item on is getting this 50% plus ultra gauge at the start of battle. And um this is great because like let's say you have the 50% here and then you're using the Midoriya and you have another 50% with the Midoriya with this. That's basically a hundred percent first turn plus ultra gauge failed. Now this is really wanting me to summon a Midoriya now. Like holy shit, with these two combos combined, it's like you're literally getting a free plus ultra gauge every three times like I just said. And imagine with Bakugo. Oh my god, with Bakugo. If y'all don't know Bakugo in Hydros' video, shout out to Hydros with his tier list. I saw um whatever you are. Bakugo is like the best unit in the game right now. And if you have this with Bakugo and Azia, they're literally gonna nuke every event that you ever see on site. So this UR support item is very good to have on a character if you're trying to finish shit like this, like if you're trying to wrap up quickly. That is very good to have. The next one being, this is these two are on the banner, so the next one being I'll defeat you. Um, reduces chances of being constricted when equipped to one A student skills, skills deal an additional 40% damage self. So what I guess constrict being is that you don't get to use your plus ultra gauge or you don't get to use your skills. I have got constricted before, but I forgot what it did to me because it's been a while now because I was in the story mode. So it's like certain characters can get constricted unless they want to give a character a boss like constrict for free. Um, so. It's alright if you know that the specific mode constricts your characters, but overall, it's nothing crazy. Um, literally, just to have this for the 40% additional buff, which is good, that's literally all you're gonna use this item for on the regular. If the constrict and break, that's an extra help for that constrict, but literally, all you gotta worry about is um, when you're equipped to a 1 8 student, it, it just adds 40% damage. That's all you gotta do with it. And the final one being that you get from this event, um, watch over your growth when equipped to a male. Max HP increases by 15% when equipped to a UA teacher plus 30% attack. So if you want to, you could equip this with All Might and then All Might gets a 30% attack and that's great. Or Aizawa, you could use this on Aizawa too, um, which is also good. I mean, I don't have Aizawa. 
So I wouldn't really know how it works like that yet. So if I do get Aizawa, I will most likely probably put it on him. But um, like I said in my last video, I don't know if I can get all my non or not. So with that being the case, I don't know if I'm gonna, literally this is gonna be an HP boost to Bakugo. Or, I mean, do I want, no, I gotta see my other skills and see who, what I wanna replace with this, because right now it's literally SR Bakugo. I mean, you are Bakugo, SR Todoroki, and SR Ego, so I have to wait to see. But with that, that is gonna be the end of this video. Um, how do I feel about the support items and the characters? They're great. All three characters could work together on a team together. Alzia is a very good support type for plus ultra gauge. It can literally finish events faster if you have it with somebody like the Midoriya or the Bakugo. Preferably Bakugo because Bakugo can hit all enemies with his, um, not AP shot. His AP shot is stung in it. I forgot which skill does it. But one of those two action skills, um, they could um, nuke events together and it'll be super quick because of the boost. With the um, with the UR support item with Bakugo and um, All Might, that can literally help you finish any content quickly. So those are the two things that stood out the most to me and the Midoriya as well, being um, that he could crit and all of this um, reducing speed. But with that, um, be sure to like and comment. I Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also subscribe if you want to. And I'll see ya when I see ya. Peace and um, have fun with my Hero Academia Ultra Impact.